I grew up in my family's vodka business from the age of two. As I got older, my responsibilities grew from shadowing my parents to sampling products at events and eventually leading marketing for our brand, Chopin Vodka. I saw a gap in the market for a rum that didn't have a pirate or a sailor on it. I couldn't believe that there were no rums celebrating their origins in a modern, fun way and thought that there was a huge opportunity to breathe fresh air into this category. When I learned that the Philippines, where my mom comes from, is the second largest rum producing country in the world, I knew that I had to launch this brand. I've had to overcome so many challenges in starting this company. I think the biggest one was overcoming my own fear about not knowing how to start or run a business. I also had to push forward even when people told me that the liquor store was full and didn't need another new brand, or that multinationals must have done their research and there was a very good reason that every rum has an antiquated nautical theme. I think that running a business is about a series of small wins. The first one came just weeks after our launch when, in December 2020, Vogue featured Kasama in an article about female-owned spirits brands. Another one was when we launched in 75 BevMo stores in California. I regularly shop in BevMo and so this was a huge deal for me. I'm proud to say that Kasama is available in 4,000 stores in 35 states. We're also available in seven countries everywhere from Luxembourg to Lebanon and even Australia. My Philippine culture is infused into every aspect of my brand, from the taste of the rum, which I say tastes like sitting on the beach in Palawan, to the bright and colorful packaging and all of the collaborations that we've done with Philippine-owned brands like Notori and Ulali Chocolates. The Kasama brand is my interpretation of what it means to be Filipino. It's colorful, friendly, and inviting. I hope my story might help inspire other women to join the very male-dominated spirits industry, which is really in need of new perspectives. I also hope that Kasama shows that Philippine brands are not niche, but have a place in the mainstream.